Hey! Hey, everybody! Welcome back to a our next section of Europa here with The Adventure Continues. Uh, once again, I am your Dungeon Master, Jeremy, and these are our assorted players. Um, Annalicia, go ahead and again introduce yourself. Hi, I'm on. Uh, hi, I'm on Alicia, and I play Nyx. Esteban. Hi, I'm Esteban. I play Kyojin. Drake. Paul. Hi, I'm Paul, and I am unknowable and unreachable. Do not try and contact me. Ooh. And Ari. I am Ari, and I play Elred the Elf. He's All the right. creepy one in the group. Uh, last time we were here, the adventure continues. Um, you guys had been able to track uh, uh, Kara and successfully find her. Um, not before actually finding, however, that she was being dragged off by a group of these infected beings. Um, even so much as to finding uh, a pair of infected uh, Ents uh, as well. Uh, after a massive battle. Um, you guys were able to save Kara, but you did find that she had been infected um, after a uh, very intimate conversation with uh, Emil and Grotek. Uh, the decision was ultimately made to save her life, to keep her alive, even though she had pled to have her life ended. Um, you guys decided to return, obviously, with her and her kids, uh, back to the tavern of Thor's Anvil. Uh, not before, however, uh, the Yellow King begged his, uh, or ordered, I should say, uh, Nyx to bear her mar his mark upon Kara, which, unfortunately, she did. Uh... You guys return to Thor's Anvil, uh, discuss the situation um, uh, a little bit further, and you guys um, put her uh, basically in kind of like a protective custody sort of thing. They they said there that they would uh, keep track of her and her family. Uh, Grotek um, also ex ended up excusing himself from the table, um, so that way he could you know help keep an eye on her as. Uh, because obviously what happened last time um then um as you guys were sort of sat recollecting your thoughts um sort of figuring out what was going on what decks to do trevathan um you guys remember the one-eyed uh halfling who you guys had all spoken to um came to you and said obviously expressed his warmest thanks for doing what you all did um, but finally, he said, I want to introduce you um, to someone who I think might be able to give you the information that you are looking for. And out walked, as you guys will see on the screen here, this gentleman, uh, which Emil, you immediately recognized as a man of, you know, hair of the color of wheat. And uh, he introduced himself as, my name is Arthas Kalen, and... What do you want to know about the Three Rings? Uh, so now with uh, our little recap ended here, um, you're all sitting in, in the tavern of Thor's Anvil, still sitting at the table. Uh, Arthas is sitting across from you. Uh, Trevathan has sort of... Um, he's also sitting at the table, but obviously the floor is left open. Uh, for the time being... Emil stands up and uh, assumes a position next to the doorway, making sure no one goes in or out. Okay. So kind of, kind of like just to paint it. So sub subtly, Emil just like not aggressively, but just stands himself up from the table, walks over to the front entrance, and just sort of leans up against the wall right by the door. Gotcha. Um. So he looks at all of you. He kind of like notes <laughs> Emil standing up and leaving, but he says, uh, um, So my friend here told me that at least most of you were interested in wishing to acquire information in regards to the Three Rings. It just shakes her head. Yes. Gojin shakes his head. 
Yes. Elred sits there, staring. I see. And uh, what of your friend by the door? Uh, Emil just throws his glance towards the bar and scoffs. I see. Well, <clears throat> let me uh, introduce myself as I'm not sure Trevathan told you. My name is Sir Arthur Kalen. I am a noble here in the city of Europa. And I will be frank, I work for the Three Rings. I'm an information broker in their employ. And he had discussed with me that in trade for some services you had given him, uh, he would be willing to ask me here to talk with you. But unless I know necessarily what you want, I can't divulge any information. I'm gonna glance over in Nix's direction. Do I notice that? Uh, yes you do. Anyone? Or did I simply waste my time by coming here this evening? Do Would you like keep... to know... Oh, one, one, at a, one at a time, please. <laughs> Not all at once. First. Uh, no, no. Uh, I, I think Emil, having fumbled the initiative for conversation, kind of glances <laughs> away again. <laughs> all right. <laughs> then, um, next. Ears twitch just a little, like a little shiver. Mm -hmm. And, um, yes. Uh, why does the three rings capture people? Ah, so you wish to know the what, uh, basically the general purpose of the three rings? Well, in I uh, in case the rest of you aren't aware, the Three Rings are split up into essentially three acts of criminality. Uh, one is for killing, one is for theft, and one is for information. Any and all essentially criminal acts that f fall under these umbrellas, which, if you really boil things right down to it, essentially covers everything, is something that the Three Rings themselves partake in. Whether that's theft of money, killing of people, blackmail, things of this sort. Uh, I would also uh, like to hope that most people could understand, but hence the three our three ring symbol. One being the cross of the so-called Christian Messiah uh, that died some time ago, the crown of thorns. The other of the Greek belief the uh, leafed crown that they bear and then of course the arm ring of the Norse belief uh, symbolizing our three ring as to why they intend to steal people our specific leader tends to have a collector's mindset anything of rarity or speciality or something that is one of a kind, I apologize if I'm being redundant, is something that he finds most interesting and therefore is something that they wish to acquire and then sell to the highest bidder. Elves, for example, are quite the rarity with the rest well, of the well world. Aware. Now, is it our, they, or he? That honestly depends on who you ask. I'm In... asking you. Is it our, they, or he? Where are it you allied? Me. I fall within the information sector. Uh, my, I am, I of course, I am unwilling to name names, but the gentleman I work for 
it being in information, is actually, believe it or not, the one who is quite curious when it comes to rarities. Mm. What is his name? As I just stated, I am unwilling to give names. <sighs> what um, rarities do the Three Rings have? With a small family living in a farm and snatching away a little girl. What rarities do you have in innocent civilians in a town outside of the grand city of Europa? Ah, the gentleman finally speaks. Well, to answer you, Master Dragon, uh, with your family, did this person who was taken, did they have any significant traits, any specialities that would probably be perceived as uh, uncommon within the family an artist perhaps or uh, or a warrior or anything of that intelligence magic anything of that sort you think even if one of my family members had anything it justifies you burning their home murdering them all and snatching one away now I never said it justified. You were asking me why a child would be abducted. I am simply giving you the reason so that you might understand. I never said it was justified. You are in a strange position right now. You are... <sighs> by working with them, by working with the Three Rings, an accomplice to them, Understand our understanding of your position, or suffer the consequences. Please, there's no need for any sort of hostility. Um, if I am going to be even further honest no with you No need! No need! You murdered my family and stole my sister! I do not run the Three Rings, sir. I am not the one who issues such decrees. But you gladly take gold from their coffers. As a means to an end, sir. It That's... is the reason I it is the reason I agreed with Trevathan to come tonight. You are seeking to tear it down from the outside. I have been seeking to try and tear it down from within. I am in a similar. What she said. How she. I am in a. I am in a similar situation as the rest of you. I do not like this organization. The fact that it has tentacles that stretch well that stretch well beyond the confines of this city is horrific to me. And it, again, it is why I have come here tonight. I can give you information, but I can only give you so much, otherwise they will know it is me. I'm a very I'm in a very powerful position within the organization, and I am at great liberty to be able to reveal things to you all. For example, Mr. Emil Bearcott, that I could help you find your brother. Mr. Kyojin Drakus, that I might be able to help you find your sister. And for you, Adira, that I might be able to give you information as to those that imprisoned you and your friend those many years ago. Please know, even though I work for our enemy, I am not your enemy. What do you have to gain by tearing the three rings down again? So you kind of see him slip a little bit from this nice personality to just in a blip. He just goes, Vengeance! Vengeance. We may Can I make have... an insight check? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Thank you. Ah. Ah, never mind. From what you can tell, he appears to be... It's hard. 
you've never necessarily, in, in your experience, Elrid, you've never encountered a being like this before. Someone who's so refined, but at the mere slip of something, mm. it's almost as if you're speaking with an entirely different person. Mm -hmm. um, it's unsure to you whether or not he is telling the truth. Thank you. <laughs> you speak these pretty words. You share an alliance with us in reasoning, but that does not grant you our trust. And I understand that. I did not come here thinking that I would have earned your trust so easily right off the bat. Believe me, I understand the path of vengeance is a lonely road. I am not here to earn your trust. I am here to give you information so that you might help me supplant this horrific organization. Stranger, you have said you could help three of my friends. What have you to offer me? What do you want? I'm going to look to each of my three companions, and then I'm going to stand up, walk over to the man and whisper in his ear, I would like news of Princess Lestin. He's sort of taken aback by it, and he says, um, that is, inf he whispers back, um, that is information I should be able to acquire. I turn back to my comrades. I understand your hesitation, friends, but I think we should take him up on his offer for now. Uh, Emil reluctantly mm -hmm. moves from his post at the door and joins the mm -hmm. table. Mm. Like it. Like it. He from says... your understanding, mm -hmm. does the Three Rings operate as judge, jury, and executioner? One of them does. That is the unfortunate part of the Three Rings. It is run by three individuals who each run their outfit the way they see fit. My my executive, my, my boss, my leader, however you want to word it, is a more intellectually refined man. Hence, as you could probably tell why I have to put up such an intellectual facade as that's not who I really am. You he hold him in high more... regard for being a kidnapper. I am I am simply trying to say that my executive would not act in the same way as the head of our death killing section would. The leader of our <laughs> killing section of the organization is a much more irrational, emotional, and, if I'm going to be quite honest, bloodthirsty individual. You're not speaking a good case for this leader of yours. I never said I liked him. I am merely admitting that there are some that I work along that I am able to work along, and there are some that I unfortunately have to say that I work along, or work under, in this case. Is it so, along friend, think... or under? Are you a speaking... traitor to the cause? Are you with us? Or are you going to defend this organization? I... By me being here tonight, with the information that I have and am willing to present, if we can finally get past this wall of trust, I am betraying the organization. So you've told us what you can give us. What can we do for you? Follow through on these acts of vengeance that I know each of you has. And that is enough. Any specific targets? 
He says, I'm glad you pointed that out. And he pulls out a scroll. And he lays out for you the map of Europa. Um, he points a finger to uh, kind of off to the farthest lower left district and he says now we are here as you can plainly see Europa is a very large <laughs> uh, city in regards to targets I can provide you with this uh, Emil uh, or Sir Bearcott, Mr. Bearcott, whatever you'd prefer me call you. Um, your brother is being held in, and I'm sorry I couldn't get more accurate information, but he is being held in one of five locations here in this district of the city. My strongest opinion from the information I have been able to garner um, first off, the reason I don't know his exact is because he is a very protected individual. I am sure you know his relevance with the magical well. If we can get beyond you being a secretary to these three rings and not knowing exact information, I'd be happy to move past that. I believe he is in the warehouse, which will be in the lowest section of this district. Uh, from my understanding, there are is a guard duty that patrols the warehouse um but he aside from possibly a few scrapes and bruises for the most part he is alive and he is being taken care of as for information regarding you uh master dragonborn your sister has been sold to a noble here in town. Uh, one of, part of the... My no the town. Yes. Here, here in the city. They've been sold to a noble here in the city. Which he points to the, you guys can see, like, the island isolated sector. He says, this is where the rich nobility as well as the palace reside. Um, I'll be able to get you more direct information as to which noble at a later date. But I do know she has been sold to a noble in this city. Um, as for yourself, um, Miss Adira, uh, I don't have any information as to whether or not the people who captured you are here. I'll have to do some more digging. Um, but... If you are as set in your ways of trying to achieve vengeance against the Three Rings as it seems the rest of your group is, I am sure the act of killing members of the Three Rings will be enough until I can get you this information. Yes. All of the burning will be fine. Thank you. I'm going to uh, whisper something to, to you, Paul. Um, understand your difficulties with the three rings, but I think we should also ask about the fog, what it did to those people. You might have any information about what technology or magics could have done such a thing if it's willing to it again. A whisper back. I think it's a good lead. But I think uh, I'll reserve my questioning. It's on you. Um, friend, I would like to ask you about one of our recent adventures. Mm -hmm. We came upon a town that seemed to be, if not cursed, affected by some technology we were unable to discern. It changed the people in this town. Many were kidnapped, and they did not return the same. They became like animals. I, I know what you're speaking of. 
I won't lie, this has definitely been something my executive have taken has taken a great interest in. Purely because, and I never thought I'd say this, it is not coming from within our organization. It is something beyond our reach, hence why my executive has taken such an interest in it. It's technology and magic that we have not been exposed to. Um, the nearest thing I would say would be a machine made by a pair of orcs that we abducted from a town a, a while back because of their interest in machinery. As I said, this doesn't appear, this isn't coming from us, but it is something we're looking into. Did you by chance discover the beings who were wielding such weapon, such a device or part of this magic, or did you only simply clash with the infected individuals? Unfortunately, we only had a clash with some of the infected, but we also managed to take down two very large beasts that they had with them. Were they Not... infected as well? I look at the, the, the rest of... I, I look at you guys individually. Um, and then I'll, I'll look back and I'm, I say, very possibly. Well, this merely confirms our concern, which is that whatever this is, if it is a living being, it can be infected. Um, which is a concern. Are you sure you didn't come into conflict with anything else? Was it just these infected beings? I did come in contact with these rat beings that had the mark of his store on them. The sigil of his store on their armor. I'm... But... Mark of his store? God. I'm unaware of this god. Well, they had his sigil on their armor, and they were rat beings. We killed them. Can you... He hands you, uh, he gently, slowly, like, he reveals it first, he pulls out a dagger, and he presents you with the handle. He says, could you carve this sigil on the table for me? Take it and um, mark. I gotcha. Yellow sign. And he says, ah... That I do know of. I did not realize that the it was a god. I have always ever heard it referenced as the Yellow King. It was considered uh, his sign, as uh, I've met some of his believers who have stated as much. Um, rats? Rats. Rat humanoids. This I w also is a bit of a concern. The beings that you came into conflict, as we are aware of, are called the Rattus. They are a horde, if I'm, if, if that even could summarize how large a number they are. They are a horde of rat beings, uh, very much bent on the servitude of their god, which until now, we didn't know who it was, but it appears they also wish to serve your this yellow king this god um, Hastur as you called him um, they have run rampant underground for if I'm going to be honest they have as far as we can tell essentially complete domination under in what they call the under empire as they say um throughout this area uh they are as primitive as they are believe it or not they have scientists that can concoct strange contraptions similar to this fog machine this machine i told you of that i had the two orcs were abducted for making a while back um i turn to uh a meal i believe and mm -hmm. i whisper didn't that little purple man have some parents that were also mechanics of some sort? Little purple man? Yes, yeah, the one with the rocks. <sighs> okay. 
Grotek, where has he gone? I do not know, but didn't he have some... He mentioned something about his parents building stuff, and now he... They were missing, and... La -da -da -da. I it's agree, true. yes. There He's was, talking to me right guy. now. <laughs> uh, I agree, Kyojin. I think the next time we see this Grotek, it is kill on sight. But do you think that these orcs this man is speaking of are the ones that are his parents? Perhaps. That is not out of question. <laughs> It'd be nice if we had him here to be able to confirm <laughs> such truths. It'd be nice to knock some answers out of him. Nox, but well, we don't have to beat our friend Grotek. I just want to ask him if this sounds like his parents. So, I hope he's <laughs> taking good care of Kara. So as you, you guys keep like progressively speaking louder and louder <laughs> with your frustrations and rage, <laughs> um, Arthur says, "Excuse me, uh, is everything all right?" Everything's <laughs> fine. Fine and dancing, ah, so good. Fine like a dandelion in a we're, lily field. We're, we're sorry. I do have one more question for you. If my friends will shut it, we're talking importance here. We're whispering. Shit. What? What is your question, good sir? I'm not sure if this is related, but the morning before we engaged in this adventure we were speaking of. I couldn't get this out of my mind. I met an old beggar who refused money, and he kept chanting this phrase, Mors es Deo. I yes, can't get it out of my mind. Mor Mors es Deo. It is the greeting of a cult called the Seven Hells. The proper response would be, uh, Net omulus angeli eos. It is, it is a response that only members of this cult are aware of. Would you say that one more time, or spell sure. it for me? Uh, it's et omnis, E-T, et. and oh. then O-M-N, I think it's U-S, Angeli, A-N-G-E-L-I, Eos, E-O-S. Thank you. What, uh, I, I take it none of you here possibly speak the language? I can if need be. No. Nope. Quick question. Similar ones, but not this one particular. Uh, d uh, uh, DM Jeremy, I know you have an analog for dwarves in this universe. What is that? An analog for dwarves. Oh, um, there the, uh, are... The Valkyrie. The the Valkyrie, so, yeah? Yes. So there aren't any male dwarves in okay. this world. There okay. are only these... They're essentially female dwarves, but they're only these beings called the Valkyrie. Um, for you guys, you would generally know them as very, very much Vikings. Uh, in their Nordic culture, those who are of that culture, they revere them actually as gods and worship them. Mm -hmm. Um... But they very much are a Viking-like people. They pillage, they plunder, they take what they want, um, and they never, like, you know, bat their eyes about it or question it. Um, it, you would probably more than likely, like, you know, encounter them if you were, like, sailing high seas or if you um, probably even much further west. Um, that isn't to say that uh, you guys may have, you know, seen a Valkyrie or two in passing, um, but most that, if they're not necessarily a part of their group, they, they don't really talk about it. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. The language would be Nordic, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So. Um, yeah. Uh, so he, um, he can, so, sorry, Arthas continues on and he says, um, the translation in common tongue is death comes to God, and the reply back is, and all his angels. Um, That's pretty dark. Yes, they are not a group to be trifled with. If you encounter any of them, 
Yes, they do have some of the blind beggars that sit about town. Unfortunately, I'm unsure as to why they're there. We've captured and even worked alongside of their cult, but they are very protective of this information. Fortunately, I, we have a translator in our organization that was able to <laughs> translate. Is there um, any way we can learn this language? As far as I can tell, no. Unless, of course, you join the Seven Hells. What their true motives are, what they seek, what they aspire to, is still one of the biggest questions within our organization. Um, but make no mistake, they are dangerous. Very. Much uh, like the Three Rings. I would argue even more so. They're a very devout and spiritualistic people. Uh, whom they serve or who they worship, again, I can't tell you. They are very, very secretive and protective in their ways. Um, but if you cross them, it is <laughs> almost assuredly a fight that most lose. Um, we have, I will say this, if we're trying to keep this trust thing going, the Three Rings have had many business dealings with the Seven Ring, the Seven Hells. Mainly in because they have seek to acquire certain people, whether they be elves, dragonborn, orcs, humans, for unfortunately I I don't I don't we don't ask. Uh when it comes to speaking when it comes to anyone we've worked with, uh when it comes to a transaction, whatever you do with your property is not our business. So you would uh Mark yourself as being involved with the trade and selling of people. I is am that what you're aware, saying? I, I am aware of the trade and selling of the flesh, yes. And you are involved. Three rings, therefore, I guess by extension myself. We are involved. Glad to know. Okay, my angry friend here oh. <laughs> is going to calm down and sit in his chair, and we can deal with these problems later. Emil for stands now, up. <laughs> for now, why don't we get back to the task at hand? Thank you for your information. By all means. Uh, if, I... uh, if, if, <laughs> if I will say, be careful. And I hope that each of you acquire the vengeance that you have seen. Now, remember what I told you. Remember, before you go, Arthas Kalen. Yes. There is some sort of collateral with this dealing, with you and us. Mm -hmm. By extension, you knowing our names grants us a certain risk. Therefore, if I ever get a hint that you will betray us, your name will be known among the Three Rings, Arthas Kalin, as a betrayer. I like the spicy version. <laughs> and if they do not like kill you first, killed, man. no, I am not far after. While he's saying this, um, what you gonna Silver do? just lowers his hooded head and just just starts just <laughs> yeah. just doing this hand on hip, just stressed, easing out of his face. Yeah. I will see it to my own standards. Tell him, that, Shield Man. Tell him that you get what you deserve. In addition, with him doing that, my eyes just go white. I just leave them like that. And I will bring food to. I urge you, sir, we are not in full agreement. However, uh, this friend of mine here, who, who seems to be quite upset, is quite a good swordsman, so I would suggest maybe... Just... On your way, maybe. He, he stands. He actually leaves the map for you guys. And he says... Alright, so you're gonna... Shall we begin? Don't Have you? Have a good evening. 
Don't you dare do that. Get out of here. Just you leave. Just leave silently. Thing. It's better for all of us. Um, Emil, <laughs> give me a perception check. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Light to flash. I'm, cha I'm changing my eyes back to regular. Okay. Great. Ten. It's a ten. Uh, you sort of maintain eye contact with him just for a little bit as he continues to walk out. As he passes, uh, as he passes, you see him give you a wink. Oh. As he exits the cabin. I hate him even more. I look immediately to a meal and I'm, and I'm like, what's wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. Okay, Elred? If that's even your real name? If that's even your real facial hair. Well, 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 just the, the fake name was <laughs> Silver, <laughs> if you were. Sil silver. Shush, shush. Silver's the fake name. Would you okay. please just say it, Silver? Just just once for me, just to make sure that you can pronounce it. Sil. 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 The. Red. No. <laughs> silver. Silver. I know, I know. I, I can respect your name. Here's the thing. Look, my point, my oh, point right. is... What is it? Your point is, what is it? That's not even a sentence. The dragonborn, the dragonborn, he interrupted us. What is it? What? What do you want? Say it, come on. Who, me? Yes. We have this map. We have this map, and I'd like to find my sister. Why are we deadling around? Look. I understand your uncomfortability with the three rings, but I think the dragonborn is right for once. We should go after our targets. In my brain. All I've heard from everyone I've met in this godforsaken city is lies. What do you mean for once? I've done a lot of things right. Yes, you have. Good for you. This isn't about you, Kyojin. This is about trusting. Why should I trust any of you? Terrible organization. First well, and foremost, one, uh, now we have a map which could the, lead us to all three of the your lost the scouts. Okay, okay, okay. So, as as you guys continue to basically <laughs> argue and stumble over each other, perfect. Yeah, in this it's perfect comprehension. Argument. I know what you're talking about. Um, Trevathan uh, makes his way back over. And, and he's just like, will you please? I understand that this is a very tense situation, but please, have an ale, have something to eat, think on it. I understand tensions are high, obviously. I have three. But take a breath. I I'll want- right back with you too. I want boiled water and nothing else. You got it. <laughs> uh, right. Stu? <laughs> he, uh, 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 he, he, no, he, I got you. He, he said stew. Um, so, you know, after uh, uh, after about, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, you guys, you know, all able to <laughs> relax. <laughs> uh, eventually, Trevathan does come back, gives you your stew, gives you your boiled water, uh, gives Kyojin uh, three pints, as well as a full chicken. Um, and he, uh, Brings a, a salad for Nix. He's like, I'm sorry, you did you didn't say anything, and I wasn't sure if if you were hungry, and I don't know what elves eat if I'm gonna be honest. So I just I thought a nice leafy salad will be nice. If it's not, I run back and get something else. I just I look at Nix and on, then I look on, at hold him. On, hold on, hold on. What what next? I'll take the salad, thank you, as well as if you could bring me. Turkey leg. You got it. And he runs back to the kitchen. Great. I, I just look at Nyx, and then I look at him, and then I look back at Nyx, and then go back to my food. Gotcha. Emil takes a sip of his boiled water. The man so knows proud. I'm an elf. <laughs> He's been serving me for ages. It's okay. What? What's up, Paul? And he looks around the table and says... Uh, I know we are all of a common cause, 
but no, please know that I am slow to trust in this situation. What is lost to me is very close to me, as I can assume is to all of you. But fighting alongside you, I need to know that I can, that I can trust you. Well, number one, you don't need to trust this man. All he gave us was a lead. We now have possible areas where each of your people could be. I suggest we just follow the leads, see where they go, and we'll worry about what we're going to do in regards to our deal with this man later. For now, we focus on trying to rescue everyone. I didn't like that he knew my name. I really don't like that. I understand. It is quite troublesome, but I think even though we don't want to deal with him as much as I would love to kill him and rip out his guts, I think it is best that we go after your family members. And then my retribution will leave no one alive. Adira, I like how you don't lie to me. So, I like I've been lying here this whole time. I would like to look around. Um, yeah. Are we the only ones in the tavern? Yeah. I would like to be completely honest with all of you. Oh no. <laughs> the reason I can gather is the Three Rings have said they like to collect oddities. I am not an elf. <sighs> I am still me. But my real name is Nyx. Kyojin, I like how you don't lie oh, to me. Oh, what a relief! And then I change into my true form. And I never reveal my true form, but I show them my blank face, my white eyes, my birthmark, my ears, or back to my changeling ears, and say, this is me. I am so relieved. I can change my face and my voice to anyone who I've ever Hello. heard seen before. And then I change into Kyojin's face. Oh, oh, do mind, do mind. And then I change into Emil's. Ha, ha, this sucks. Ha, Please don't do this. Stop, 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 stop. I thought I could trust you. I am revealing you my truth. This is who I am. This is amazing. And I go back to Adira's persona. Do me again, do me again. Okay, as a joke, I, 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 I do to me again. face, but I stay in my voice. <laughs> Happy now, Kyojin. <laughs> Kyojin, do you want to just, like, say something to me now that, uh, like, a, a revealing truth and just, uh, uh, you know, rip off the band-aid that I, I, I can not trust anyone in this group? Go back to my regular uh, Adira person. You could right. trust me. I have lied. I'm just giving you the chance. If there's any secrets <laughs> that are completely <laughs> antithetical to my trust in you, <laughs> just like this is this is the opportune chance to uh, break my heart. Yeah. Well, some don't know this. But usually in the store, I'll grab three different samples instead of one. Sometimes I'll wear a hood or a hat. By the second time they find out it's me though, because I'm quite large. So I am one who does go back for more samples at the local market. That is incorrigible. Someone else yeah, them. no, I, I understand. It's incorrigible, but... That is more trustworthy that than anyone else in this party. That is I have for you. Neil, I have to hide my persona because for what I am, oh, I was oh, captured and tortured. I carry. It is not a lie. It is who I am. I understand. I do not need to deceive you, but it is how us changes must survive, or else we're all killed and murdered. I understand perfectly. It's nothing personal. Thank you. Silver. I apologize for lying to you, but you also must know have to do what I have to do to survive. I... 
I uh, appreciate your forthcoming nature. Nyx, is it? My real name is Nyx. I stay in this persona as Adira because she was my best friend who died when we were in the Three Rings. Oh, uh, encampment. Hey, hold on. Did you say you were in the Three Rings? In the encampment. Yes. They captured me as a child and held me prisoner as an oddity until about four years ago. Okay, that was that's new information, and also I I. I am having a hard time tr- uh, trusting you again. Ha! Ah, wow. Two steps forward, one step back. Am I right? <laughs> well, I didn't trust her until I found out she wasn't an elf. So I'm, I'm pretty sure we can say she's, she's probably fine. At least to us. You're like at a solid five out of ten right now, Nix. Just, just putting that out there. Why? If Lupus liked her. Oh, well, thank you. You do have the trust of a dog, so. You have that going for you. And Lupus is a good dog. He is a good dog. Yeah, he is. A good boy. All right. So. Oh, uh, I am going to look at the map. map. Uh, the map. I want to use my familiarity with the city if I can. Do I need to do a roll? Yet? The map. Well, hold, hold on, because I, I got I got multiple uh, yeah. people talking at the same time. Okay, right. so, uh, so Ari, Elrid, what mm. were you wanting to do with the map? So I wanted to study the locations specifically that we got from uh, our associate, um, and I wanted to figure out, since I have a bit of a familiarity with the city, what the easiest ways into those areas are, and um, any shortcuts that we could use to escape in case we got uh, not captured, but but pinned against a wall, say, or... or I you gotcha. Know. Um... So the the places that he is referring, um, I will say this: I understand that you have traveled. You know, you've been in this city, arguably speaking. It's okay if I don't have anything. I just want to check. No, it's okay. Um, for the warehouse that he had said um, was the strong for Emil's brother, mm-hmm. um, you've never really been in that district before, because it, and it wouldn't it wouldn't make sense for you to, because it's it's a store, it's a warehouse area. Right. No, absolutely you know, makes sense. Um, the other, uh, there were, a, with the other locations, um, the only one that you probably would be familiar with would be, uh, it, it just looks to be a, a sort of, just like a market, sort of like mm-hmm. a, a business, you mm-hmm. know? Um, it's actually, uh, it would be on the opposite side of town of where, like north, rather than where you guys are being south in the city. Right, and that um, none of the locations are there, so that's the only area I'm really well familiar with and we're not right. going in that direction okay yeah mm-hmm. um so. the rest the rest of them are all more towards the southern side of where you guys are but okay. like i said um arthas did say the strongest hunch he had from just bits that he was able to collect that emil was more likely located um in their warehouse i'm sorry mm-hmm. emil's brother is more likely located in their warehouse uh understanding the location of the warehouse and having Draught several flagons of boiled water. Emil is going to go to the bathroom. Okay. I'm going to ask the bartender about the warehouse district and ask if there's any specific people that might be helpful in finding uh, someone who's lost. Okay. Uh, so you you head to the the tavern keeper who he's just sitting there washing you know mugs. Um, he says, Ah, Silva, what can I do for you? Some information would be nice, friend. What do you need to know? Well, we were talking to uh, our associate before he left, and he gave us some locations. One of them is in the warehouse district, and we think one of my friends may have their brother lost there. And I was wondering if you could point us to anyone in that area uh, who might have more information not only about the warehouses themselves, but how to navigate that part of the city. I, I haven't spent much time there. Honestly, uh, if you got a map, you're probably gonna be well, fine. We, we, we have one, but more more specifically than, than just how to get around, who are the players? Um, are, there, are there people that we can possibly pay to let us in to said warehouses? Uh, Any probably... contacts? How much money you got on you, mate? Well, let's see about this. I can part with... I, uh, you know what? I'm going to sweeten the deal. 50 gold pieces for some information. How does that sound to you? 
No, no, no. It's, it's a good not deal. About, no, it's not about paying me, mate. It's about paying whoever you're going to have lead you to the warehouses. Considering this time of night, mm -hmm. considering uh, what warehouse you're going to be going in for, mm. uh, that's going to be considerable coin unless one of your group is secretly rich. I don't think you're going to be able to pay anybody at this time of night. What do you if think you around have... the price might be? To... To take you to the warehouse and help you traverse the warehouse, that's easily going to be a thousand gold. All right. And, and, and that's being cheap, if I'm going to be honest. I understand. I understand. Thank you. Um, now, if you have a map, it should be fine. All right. All right. Any new players that might be dangerous in that district? Uh, as far as I can tell, unless you're trying to break in someplace, you really have nothing to be worried about. If uh, what you, what the your associate or whatever the hell he wants to call himself says true, you know, nothing more than a couple of guards, nothing, uh, nothing too out of the ordinary. It's not like there's a a freaking brigade of soldiers down there or anything. Of course. You know, right. No one would be able to stop talking about something like that because, like, well, what have you got in the warehouse? Good point. Um, Good point. But uh, probably nothing more than a couple of guards. You probably just need to sneak around or uh, if uh, your group is fancy of bloodshed, I'd just ah. say he kind of looks around and like, just make sure you dump them in the river. Good eye. Yeah. Yeah, you know, because it, it, it works perfectly, because the river comes from up north, comes right down south, and bleeds out into the ocean. Interesting. Right. Good call. Good call. Thanks. Uh, before I go... Yeah. Beer? Yeah, a beer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me uh, get you one. He uh, takes out a pint, fills it, puts it on the, puts it on the bar, and he says, Oh, by the way, um... Kara, she's doing okay. She's a bit oh, of a fever. She's a bit of a fever, but for the most part, that broke tech character really knows what he's doing. He's taking care of her. Um, I did just want to make sure, um, because she she did a little talking. And she told us about everything that was going on. She didn't tell us though. Did you all bathe in the river? We did. We had to. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing you did it to wash up whatever the contaminants was that could possibly turn you. Of course, yeah. He starts to, you can tell he's actually starting to get very anxious. He's like, so you all washed off the contaminants in the river? Yeah. He says, I gotta go. And he, he flips up the the just like the little exit for him, flips it up, takes a coat, and he and he runs like he right out. Of the it's gone. What I miss? I, I rush back to my my friends here. Um, uh, a couple of things. Grotech seems to be fine as well as Kara. That they're, they're doing just fine. But when I spoke to the bartender and he poured my beer, he asked if we bathed in the river. And when I told him we did, he ran out of here like a bat out of hell. Look at the map, and... And tell, well, where were we? We went north, and we washed off in the river. And whatever we washed off will be coming downstream. For the rest of the city. Yeah, that uh -oh. does seem like a bad situation for... What, what, what's worse, he was just telling me that the river runs down right into the ocean. But it goes through the town first, and then I point at the map. We could have infected this entire town. Right. No. We're going to have to deal with that at some point. We need to tell somebody. Maybe oh, we could get Kyojin's sisters first when we... Maybe we could try and tell the king? Um... Uh, uh, I don't have any contacts except for the bartender. He's gone. Um, Elred, uh, can you inform Kyojin about the proceedings? Kyojin, um, mm -hmm. we may have poisoned all of Europa yeah. by washing off in the stream. Mm -hmm. And 
it's going to go into the ocean, which could be worse. So, yeah. Also, Grotek and Kara seem to be fine. But yeah. But yeah. I should have yeah. probably sent a message to them, letting them know so that they don't drink the water here. Um, so, uh, Trevathan kind of, like, looks at you guys. He's like, what's going on? Don't drink the water. Don't. Boil it first. Bo boil first. What? What? <laughs> did, did something happen? Well, it's just my preferred way of drinking, it, actually. And nothing. Washed off in the stream, but then the stream goes downriver towards the city. Yes. And, well... There could be some toxic something in the water that could turn you into a strange undead thing or a rat monster. Amelia, he's just like, I have to go. And he runs, he runs over, grabs his coat, puts it over, right. uh, puts it over the, and runs out of the tavern. Okay. Um, Emil is going to walk behind the bar, take something off the top shelf, and pour himself a shot. Okay, right. we can't go yeah. around telling everyone. Hold on, hold on. Give me a constitutional saving throw. Uh, constitution. I will. Yeah. <laughs> I just upgraded this. Oh, nat twenty. All right. <laughs> you so you you grab this bottle, um, top shelf, and from what it says, you actually look at the label. It says Black Lagoon. Um, thing. All right. Pour yourself a shot drink it and you're just like all right <laughs> how does it taste what what are the notes i, I, I oh what's my nose feel like in terms it, it, it's like it, it's a it's almost like the best way you could <clears throat> clear your sinuses um <laughs> but the, great but the taste is death like it is the most bitter alcoholic beverage bitter beverage uh -huh. bitter thing that's been in your mouth as far as you can remember Sweet, sweet morbidity. <laughs> yes. Great. Thank you, Black Lagoon. <laughs> I'd love to just walk up to him and drink the entire bottle and just be like, ah, refreshing. I'm not going to do that, though. All right. <laughs> go for it. There's plenty to go around. There's no one here <laughs> to, to tell us we're wrong. So what do you guys want to do? I personally would like to address the group and make my case for heading to the warehouse. But I do, I am faced with information that my brother is in fact alive. Knowing the Bearcot name and our own constitution, I think we should field every option in front of us. I will say, yes. You're, you're muted, Esteban. I will say, yes, um, we need to go and look into the disappearances, absolutely. But two people just ran from this bar after finding out that the water was contaminated. We don't know what the ramifications of this are. We don't know if a town alert will be announced. I suggest that maybe we follow the footprints of those that ran out just to make sure Pandemonium won't set in in the town. Well, it, it, I mean, yeah. Let me let me as your DM say this, um, Elrid, you know Trevathan to be a very responsible human being. Mm. Uh, regardless of whether or not pandemonium in the town is going to follow, it's not to say it's irrelevant, but if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Mm. But you know that. The reason that, especially for the both of them, that they probably would have fled the, the tavern unsupervised to tell. Would, would be to make sure that the right people know that, hey, there's a problem with the drinking water and we need to get this solved. All right. Well, so in, that, that up. in that case, uh, remind me the name. Trevathan. Uh, Trevathan and Bill. <laughs> in fact, Trevathan <laughs> and Bill are quite responsible folk. I think maybe my first statement was an error. I think we should go after your brother. What well, about my sister? We'll do She's that too. a little too. girl who was sold to a stranger. Who knows what that stranger's doing to her? Ah, but if we have my friend's brother, 
in tow with us, that's more people, which means we are more likely to be able to save your sister. That's a pretty good point. We also have to deal with the fact that if we're going to rescue your sister, we are going to have to go into the hierarchy and the nobility area of um, Europa, which I'm not opposed to doing. Um, so whoever we rescue first, I'm in favor, as long as we get them out of the Three Rings clutches. Whatever we do, we should do it quickly, because whatever the ramifications of us washing ourselves in the river and possibly poisoning the whole town are, I, I would I would like to be somewhere safe by the time anyone finds I would say, having been exposed to the thing, whatever it is, we would be the first authority on the effects of what that is. Uh, and we can, we can, through the proper uh, uh, lines of information, let the city know what is important and what to look out for. In Which the line of what to do next, I say we go after Kyojin's sister. We do not know her current state. That is true. But we do know the state of your brother. He is alive. He is alive. Might it be more prudent to save the person that is alive, that we know for sure, before we go after the one that we're not sure? Because then, if she is gone, and I hate to, I hate to have this thought at all, if she is gone, and they kill your brother, before we get to him, we will have lost two. Whereas if we so, save your brother, so you're and the type then we that doesn't to say, you are the type that doesn't say save the women and children first, huh? I, Kyojin, well, I understand what you're saying. I understand. Mm -hmm. Elred, if he were to die, it would be immediately. They are keeping him alive for some construct, for some purpose. If they were judge, jury, and executioner, they would have executed him immediately. We are going to go after the missing factor. The one that is questionable. Because it's, uh, this is an otherworldly term, but Schrodinger's sister, who is neither dead nor alive until we find out. I want all three of you to give me an intelligence saving throw yeah. to see if you can comprehend <laughs> what he is talking about. I, I can't in real life. Intelligence? Above board, I have yeah. Intelligence, yeah. Intelligence saving throw. Okay. Oh, intelligence my. saving throw. Intelligence saving throw. Can I do a, a wisdom saving throw? No, okay. No, oh, intelligence saving throw. For 19, okay. Schrodinger's sister! <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw this out there. <laughs> Bringing Schrodinger's cat into this. None of you guys know what he is talking about. <laughs> he said Schrodinger, <laughs> Schrodinger thing. Um, I have to say, that was very clever, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Above board, <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, none of you guys are able really to comprehend what exactly Emil's talking about when he says <laughs> Schrodinger. Oh, please, when we're talking about something specific, use reason and, <laughs> and intellect and knowledge, not some strange magical language that nobody can understand. I do not mean to res reference the Arcanum, you know, the unknowable things of the universe, but we need to go after the things we do not understand. I understand that my brother is alive, and he will continue to be so long as we get information that he is. Yes? Well, Strunk, sir, I submit we should go after your sister, Dragonborn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now you speak. All I know is that if it was your wolf, you would have sprinted to go for the wolf and not his brother. I know what kind of man you are now. I will remember oh, that. Fair, I never met your sister. I will you remember can, that. Like you that. Or you've never well, met that. young lad's brother either. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. okay. Then we go after their, your sister as well. Okay. Um. So you guys decide to elect to uh, 
go after Kyoshin's sister. Um, so just reflecting on the idea that, for the most part, so she's owned by someone in the nobility. Do you guys want to wait now? I mean, do you guys want to go now and just break? I guess break down the door of every well, noble house, or do you want to wait till daytime to see if you guys can't find some information through some uh, investigating on your own? I think we should we find some information first, us. especially since we're dealing with the nobility first, because we don't want to get into this situation and then find ourselves in jail and unable to complete our other two tasks. I okay, think so... I'm going to call the group together and okay. say, if we are to infiltrate nobility, we need to look the part. I think it's time for a shopping trip. Shopping trip! <laughs> All right. Okay. Style. Let us go. Let's go to the upper echelon, into a clothing store, and get ourselves a new look. Purchase some linens. Some linens, some frills. Some linens and things. I would like a gold gilding, please. So, okay, so you guys would know, then it's too late to go anywhere. <sighs> it's, everything's closed. So... You got, uh, the best thing that you can, I guess, necessarily do right now is you could go to sleep. Um, if, I will say, if you guys want to, you could try poking around at nighttime to see who might be awake and try and gather I'll some do information. Some of that. I can meditate rather than sleep, so I won't yeah, need as much hours. time. So I'll take some of my night to do that for everybody since they have to sleep. Okay. Or I don't know if I'm going to sleep. Well, so here's the thing, Ari, with doing that, Everyone's asleep, so this would mean you breaking into people's houses and waking up people at random. Nightlife, isn't there? Like folks on the street walking at night, or bars open that that would be open late that I could get information. Just like the, the nightlife people, like the even drug addicts. Like I don't, you know. Uh, not the kind of people that would probably know the information that you guys are trying to find. I see what you're saying. Okay. Right. Um. Then maybe I'll instead I'll meditate first, and I'll go out early and make sure I'm back for breakfast. That way I can give everybody the information that I got in the very early hours of the day. Okay. Um. So then uh, I guess the rest of you guys uh, go to sleep. Yes. Night cool. night. Everything would be good. All right. So uh, you guys sleep for eight hours, um, which will. You know, restore your health, restore all the magic that you've used, all that good stuff. Um, Ari, since you only need to meditate for four hours, you do your meditation for four hours. Um, give me a wisdom saving throw. Okay, let's do this. Wisdom. Boom. All right. So the, so the information that you've been able to gather is... It's essentially no one really knows their names um, because the there is a heavy level of classism in this city. Like the fact that all the rich, the politically powerful, and even the king all live on this island that exists in the middle of the river that is walled off, bridged off, and gated off that only people who have can prove that like necessarily they have appointments to meet with people that have business there um that's the only way that they're allowed access to this island otherwise the two sides of this city are essentially cut off from their political representatives are there um, any areas where like servants throw things out or little ducks that might be you know we could swim in Un unfortunately, you, it would it it would mean you guys uh, actually no because the the way that um, all this stuff kind of works, uh, their servants live there like they have their own communities there. Like anyone that has anything to do with the rich and the powerful, even their servants, all live on this island. 
So even their plumbing um, situation is already sort of sorted in the house as well. Yes. Okay. Um, hence why things are much better and much more improved there than unfortunately they are through the rest of the city. Hmm. Um, in regards to getting a meeting or proving, you know, that you have a meeting, you essentially need a what they call just a it's called it's just a meeting certificate. So if you're a, a shopkeeper, if you're a trader, if you're even technically speaking, if you're an adventuring group, you know, because, you know, they need stuff done for themselves as well. Um, you would need this sort of meeting certificate, which would gain you entry to the island. Uh, ways that you can go about getting this is actually, you know, like one of their representatives would approach you guys. Um, you would have also learned possibly through, you know, black market illegal stuff. You can get that kind of thing forged for around 250 gold. Um, or, you know, obviously it, it's like that's the that's the official price. But as you know, like, you know, sometimes deals can get struck. You can do a right. favor for a favor, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but in re but as far as you guys getting access to the island, um, that would probably be the most feasible, feasible way. Because, again, the banks of the river even are walled off, so that way the poor can't cross. Right. The only way to get from one side of the city to the other is by crossing those bridges and by going in and then across the island. Yeah, no castle of Cagliostro swimming through the depth sort of thing. Yeah. No. Cool. Um, that's great. That's a lot of information that I can use. Um, so I guess when I when I get back... Just relay um, that information to them? Yeah, I'm going to relay that information to all of you. Specifically, I'm going to highlight um, the thought that since we already are an adventuring party with some renown, and it hasn't spread that we poisoned the water yet, <laughs> uh, I think it would be smart to try and find one of the representatives at first and see if we can get an audience with the royalty um, for offering favor. So basically, like, we will come and say we are an adventuring party, we were able to do this, this, and that, and we would like to offer you our services. Do you need anything from us? And that way, while we're inside, maybe we do have a shape changer. Maybe the three of us, the, the, the three of us that cannot change our shape, um, will sort of provide a distraction by communicating with said royals, and our shape changer can get a little bit of a lay of the land um, inside the castle. I could always take, oh wait, you talk above board, are you talking with us right now? That, that was just the idea that I, I, I have relayed this concept to you, rather than use Elrid's words. Just didn't know if we were above board or in game. Uh, uh, he, he is saying that in game, I, I okay. said it. He's just he simplifying said. it for you, Annalisa. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, then I say, I can always take the face of, face and voice of, so Arthas Kalen, if need be, I'm sure that's royals a... have dealings with him. Yeah, that's a good point. That Do you think? Might not be a bad idea. Do However, you think we don't you could know... be an envoy for us to infiltrate the Three Rings? Do we know their central location? No. We also don't know <laughs> how, what the relationship between the royals and the Three Rings. This is true. I, I say we I, go in as an adventuring party at first. I say we get to lay the land and then find out how they feel about the three rings. Maybe they don't like them, say, um, we can give them more of our, uh, our plan. And if they do like them, we can use this association that you suggested um, to barter or provide uh so this is where i'm going to cut in as a dm real quick um ari i understand you're trying to use caution but i'm just letting you know that even if they were poked and prodded um the anyone who is rich and powerful is never going to openly admit that they have some affiliation if any affiliation with a criminal organization um, it's one of those things that it's just like the idea would be risk it for the biscuit if you're going to go with that. 
Um, I just didn't know that you were being part of it. No, the it's agreement. it's okay. Yeah. And and you know what? That honestly could um I'll say this is a DM. That could very well be a possibility that maybe some of the politically powerful here or some of the very rich here have some sort of affiliation with three rings. Um right. so but that's what my point is appealing to their political thing might be more of a risk than than say sneaking in it. I'm just letting you know, as a DM, that posing as Arthas Kalen is not a bad idea. Yeah. All right. Because mm -hmm. you could, uh, again, I'm not not trying to tell you guys what to do, but I'm even saying like she could even have you guys posing as uh, her bodyguards. That was my my first thought. Yeah. Maybe. I you know think what? it's a wonderful plan. Yeah. That actually does give me an idea. Kalen lives in the city, and he did rush out. No, he left. He left. He wasn't one of the people that. Um, what if I'm going to go back to the bartender who fled no, bartender the bar bartender, bartender, bartender. Bar bartender is actually uh, so because uh, I get what you're saying because technically speaking it's supposed to be like eight hours later right oh. right. Bill and Trevathan are still not back uh, I'm going to say uh, Arthas Kalen left the bar without a trace nor a calling card. If uh, if our plans intersect with him, if our ability to for, for Nyx to disguise herself as him interferes with him, that's his fault. I agree. And now and now they know the the three rings would know that he is uh, compromised. And that is uh, his fault. His claim, his claim to death. Basically, what I'm getting from you, Paul, is that it's no skin off your nose. No, no. <laughs> Arthas Kalen is not to be trusted nor loved. <laughs> no, I, I think this is um, not the, the the best pull we can make. But we could also say you do pose as. Uh, Kalen, maybe if we run into him, say if he is there with the royals, we could possibly point to him being the chain thing. Maybe they'll have to investigate, give us some time to move around. If he's there, say. But if he's not there, all the better. We don't have to do anything. They won't suspect a thing. Um, Nix, go ahead and give me a history check. Sure. Mm. Uh, Kyojin. Oh, oh wait. Go, Kyojin, go ahead and give me a history check. <laughs> I have Pact of the Talisman, so I can roll a d4 uh, if I fail an ability check. I'm Do letting. Really I'm letting. Two? I'm letting you know. It would be better for Kyojin to go. Yeah. <laughs> um, Kyojin, you'd be able to recall from the other night that um, Arthas had said that he that he necessarily knows, you know, that he is owned by a noble, right? Um, and even going as far as to say, uh, with what's going on with Emil's brother. This is also knowledge that he's privy to. Um, if he's an information broker, that would more than likely mean that he serves as a personal representative for his section in the Three Rings, if not the Three Rings themselves. Which means that he is accustomed to doing face-to-face -face dealings. Um, it would also... It's just supporting that having her go as um, Arthas would probably be the biggest benefit because he would be able to possibly just walk into a room and be like, hi, how's everything going? Yada yada. And simply be able to ask about it because he knows. Right? Or be able to ask, you know, whoever he needs to talk to to talk, you know, so that way he can talk to them about her. So it's a very direct course of action. Alright. 
right, everyone, all right. <laughs> I'm not usually the one to take lead. I'm not usually the one to strategize. But we have been in this pub for too long. It's in for too long. You keep talking, 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 and I want to make action! ACTION! My sister is in danger. I think the changing personal changing. hair... Yeah, but you change. You know what I mean. I call people Purple Boy and Shield Man. It's what I do. <laughs> it must be best that the chain jelling. I agree. We shall go to the inner city and find your sister. No, you, Silverman. Go. You, Silverman. No more out of your mouth. Before we go, there is no! one no! One more thing no! we have to do. There's one more thing we have to do that we have forgotten. Kill you! We're going to need a meeting certificate. We you have our bargaining about? chip. We have... <laughs> We have Arthas Kalen with us. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll still need a certificate to get on to the island. We have so Arthas Kalen with us Arthas and his esteemed guests. That's the problem. He would have one. And since we don't, we are going to need to pay for one, which is 250 gold. Or maybe we can find someone on the black market. Can not only forge it for us give us a better deal. Well, it seems to me, Mr. Sneaky Silverman, <laughs> you know a thing or two about sneaking about the city without anyone knowing who you are. Well, in order to get to the markets, I'll have to go up to the north east. Is that correct? North no. east? No. Where are it the markets? Be, it, would, it would just be in the northern side. The northern section. I will have to go to the northern section of town to possibly purchase one of these meeting certificates. So I suggest that on the way we run up to the north. Let's go then. Okay. On the way out, I'm going to lock up the my friend who never came back and put the key under the mat or whatever he does or put the closed sign on so that he knows that somebody's taking care of things if he comes back. Okay. Um, so you guys head out into the town. Um... As you guys uh, exit the tavern and start to, you know, walk down the steps, once again, you guys see the blind man uh, sitting out with his hand out. Um, do you decide, do you want to interact, or do you want to keep, just keep going on? I want to keep going on, because anything that involves hell or seven of them, I do not want to mess with. <laughs> I, I may not get this chance again. I, I am going to try it. I'm going to walk up to him. Okay. So he uh, he holds out his hand. What do you do? Does, does he say more so nope. stay or I, I I pass him a coin, pass him a coin. So as you go to pass him a coin, he he grabs you by the wrist and pulls you in, and he says, "More esteo." Et omnes angeli eos. And he sort of pulls back, and even though he's blind. You could swear he's looking right into your eyes. And he starts to slip something else into your hand. And he says, heed the call, my brother. Silver man, hurry up. <laughs> I'm waiting for you like always. <laughs> my sister could be being tortured right now. Oh, but no, let me give some money to the beggar! So, no. really quick, really quick, let me paint this scene. There are people walking out in the street, you know, as, <laughs> you know, the sun has risen and it's a new day. And as you're talking to this blind man, <laughs> Kyojin, you're just hollering about how your sister could be tortured, and everyone that's just walking around just, like, looking back, you're like, what the hell's wrong with this guy? I just, I, I, I look over to him scowl, look back at the blind man, and then I, 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 as he lets my hand go after he gives me the thing, I'll, I'll look at it, knock at it, and then I'll, I'll walk out. <laughs> uh, so you guys can continue on your travel, um, up to the northern, 
northern part of the city, which you would have to kind of, sort of go this way anyway, because that's where the bridge is to, to get to the island. Um, as you, um, Silver, you would know that there's, there's somebody that you could talk to who sort of lives up here. No one really knows his name, but they just simply call him, they just call him Stranger, because no one knows his name. He tends to always, like, wear a, a cape and a hood and a very, you know, very weird guy. Um, but you know exactly where he usually hangs out. So after uh, about an hour or so of walking, because again, it's it's a very long distance, uh, you guys make it to this uh, this neat little quaint marketplace. Um, it's very quiet, um, despite that there's so many people. It almost seems contradictory to just how quiet the market really is. Um, Silver, you lead them over to where you see what appears to be this cloak being like, sort of just like sitting, like standing off on this wall off to the side. And uh, he sees you coming up, and uh, before you can even say anything, he stands and he says, uh, what do you need? A couple of things. We're going to need a, a certificate to go into the island. Um, I'm going to need to grab some arrow. And, he says, uh, whoa, 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 buddy. I'm not an armor, all right? If you want weapons, go somewhere else. Now, as far as the certificate, that we can do business on. Also some information. Well, depending on the information, it might cost you a little bit more. What do you need to know? Do you have any schematics for any... Um, any information as to how to? Um, sorry, my my brain is fuzzy. Give me a second. Okay. Do, do you have a uh, map or schematics? So, you can oh. Or if you have I, any information, you can like. It. Listen, silver. Nobody outside of the island has information like that. Now, if you want that kind of information, you'd be better off contacting the Three Rings to get something like that than to get it from Street Vet. Come on, man. Now, with the certificate, we can do business, right? It's uh, 250 gold. Certificate's yours. How about... Give me a persuasion check. No, that did not go well. Just like, buy the certificate! Get out of here, man. It's 250 gold. Look, any you three got the gold? Because I'm, I'm getting sick and tired of dealing with this chump. Me too! <laughs> Take him away. All right, all right. How about this? For old time's sake, 230. 250! Old time's sake, but... You know what? I hand two... him 250. Do I you do have 250? Do you have two hundred and fifty gold, let's, Kyoshin? Let's, let's find out. But at this point, <laughs> this boy is driving me mad. I just want to go save my sister. No, I do not. But I will give you twenty for the two thirty that he's trying to give you. Boys, boys, why? I just can't put two fifty over to him. Hold, hold, Thank you. Hold on. Hold why on. bargain? Have... Why bargain in gold when we can bargain in steel? And Emil puts his hand on his sword. I like oh, this version. This ain't bad, actually. Give me an intimidation check. <laughs> Can I help with that? I will join with that intimidation check. Sure, I'll guys. Go go ahead and join I, the intimidation. I'm not make it worse. I already got a three on. That's a, you get yeah. one. <laughs> this should be a plus two. Son of a god. So that's a sixteen. I'm too adorable. Sixteen twenty two. And oh, Esteban, that was terrible. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm a so, so, so here's what happens, right? So, Emil, you you walk up with a stern face, and you have your hand on your sword. Uh, Nyx, your eyes turn white and just like stone face. Kyojin, on the other hand, goes to like 
pull out his weapons and they sort of stick in the sheath <laughs> and he sort of like twirls himself around and he like crashes off to the side of the wall and then slides into the dirt mm -hmm. I just um, smile at the guy sure <laughs> um so he he look he's like all right all right uh ha look I, it's, it's, it's this isn't necessary he slowly but surely hands over the certificate and he's like okay the, the the meeting is set for an hour from now which gives you you know enough just enough time to get to the bridge because you know how punctual those aristocratic assholes are okay just take take the ticket and just yeah <laughs> i'm gonna uh as we leave i'm just gonna match into him by the way drink the I'm sorry. What you cut out, Ari? So, uh, I'm gonna go up to. I'm, uh, before we leave, I'm just gonna right. say, but drink the water. He says, "I already had a glass this morning. What does that have to do with anything?" Some people may have washed themselves in the water after having some poisonous muck. Let's on. go! Don't don't Four worry about one. it. In, in terms of parts per million, it's already out to the sea by now. So so the guy starts freaking out. Wait, what? Stop. Uh, yeah, we, we heard some stuff. You know what? Here's, so I'm going to do Jer uh, DM over the board. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. in, 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 no, it's okay. I understand. I'm it's going I am going to knock out this gentleman so he <laughs> forget what happens. Yes. I'm going to hit him by the side of the head, and then I'm going to hit Silver on the side of the head and carry him with us. And right, carry so we him try to get him out of the marketplace so he doesn't report roll. us. Hold, okay, hold on. Uh, Kyoshin, go ahead and roll in an attack. I will. <laughs> I think we made a misstep right. somewhere here. But it's okay. What do I Let's keep going. What do I attack with? Also, it's, is it two turns to attack? It's just it's just a it's a standard attack. So D twenty plus strength plus proficiency. I'm gonna just press the strength button. Thing, right? Yeah, good. Go ahead, I'll take it. <laughs> Knock both of them out. Also, did you just over? <laughs> yeah, I stood up. Okay. People can stand up. Okay, so uh, your your attack does knock out the cloak, the stranger. Yes. Of so he just does. slumps like a heap onto the ground. Uh, I'm um, gonna turn immediately to hold, hold anyone on, who saw on. this action. Hold real quick. It, it does not knock out silver. Oh. <laughs> um, go ahead and roll a d6, uh, plus your strength for damage, Esteban. Roll and then plus six. Let's see. So that's gonna be that plus six, twelve, and 12. it's a crit. So eat so, dirt. <laughs> um, so he's gonna hit you, and you're gonna take uh, twelve damage, silver. What the hell? Why can't right. I knock him out? I want this to shut <laughs> I'm gonna so turn to. I'm gonna turn no. outward to oh, any oh, civilian oh, who saw all of this yeah. and say like, <clears throat> <clears throat> hold, hold on, hold on, Ari. Paul, go ahead. Issue. Paul, go ahead. This is a miscreant. You just can't handle him. And the mar those those who saw are kind of like, yeah, and they go back about their business. <laughs> With all the authority of a city guard. <laughs> okay, I have an HP issue. Okay. Oh. Uh, I had 20 HP before we leveled up. I don't know what I'm supposed to 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 do to put that up before I take the 12 off. Because I'm at level 4 now and we were at uh, level 2 last time. Let me see, you're a ranger? Yeah. Sec. I'll just take the average, whatever that is. Uh, it's going to be... It's going to be 6 plus your constitution level. Okay. Or Constitution Modifier, just so got you can it. add that to your HP. Okay. So, that's 8, got it, so 28. Now I gotta go back to uh, 12. Yeah. So that's gonna put you at 16. Got it. Thank 2d10 you. or 10. Um, what? After Are we I'm all hit, ready to move now? After I'm hit, 
I'm just gonna say to you, it's not very nice to damage someone who's helping you save your sister, especially someone who has the certificate. I'm ignoring you. Moving forward. <laughs> I start walking away. <laughs> I'm gonna make him work for it. I'm gonna walk away from him. Okay. So he... So you three see that, uh... Whatever you are saying now, I do not know, because I am not paying attention to it. Well, no, but Sil so Silver has the certificate, and he's walking I, I away. Got from hit. Oh, the lag. And also, I was hired to be in your group, so if I'm going to be abused by members of said group, what is my incentive to save your sister? Uh, what's, really what's, my so my, what's my incentive to trust you? Because hold, you hold lied on. to us about so your name. Hold on, guys. If that's so, even your Ari, real beard. Ari, technically speaking, that job finished. You were only asked to be a part of them to help I, deal I, with I, the I understand, but now okay. I've been hit in the face by one of my teammates, and I think it's perfectly reasonable to say if you want to damage someone who was supposed to help you, okay. then I don't want to help you. I will still help you Sir Knight and Nyx, I will still help you. But I do not want to help Dragonborn, who is going to attack me. Well, you're none of this is being none of this is being said because you've you've walked away, Silver. <laughs> Fair, I said the same thing a couple minutes ago, so I'm fine. Yeah. So you three, he's walking away. Uh, what do you want to do? I want to go towards the direction of my sister. Well, you don't have... So that's the thing. You don't have the certificate at this point. Um, to, but do you still want to go towards the bridge then? I think we'll be fine without the certificate. We have the Royal Highness face here. Okay. That's fair. Um, so the three of you then decide to uh, walk Actually, off. Wait, 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 wait. What? We're still in the location with the man who gave us the certificate, correct? He's unconscious. Yeah. Yeah. He's unconscious. He's unconscious. <laughs> How hard could it be to search for another one? <laughs> He's unconscious. That's not a bad idea. Okay. Uh, give me. Uh, you you pat it. you pat him down. You find this guy has like uh, a stack of like fifty certificates. On Rock on. Person. Beautiful. <laughs> Are they all for an hour? <laughs> um, they, I can't ask so. Right. The certificates are all sort of they're they're blank in the areas that need to be blank. So like, what time your appointment is, the date of the appointment, um, and honestly, uh, and then just a signature, um, which there appears to be already like a forged signature of like you know some name of some noble or whoever. Um, so, uh, do any of you guys have uh, ink and quill? Question. Let me check my bag. I do. Do I have a mess kit? I have a tinder box. No, looks like I have no such thing. Can I look in the uh, in any, any crevices or anything that of uh, the person, the merchants? You just want to search. Uh, I mean, you could try searching the unconscious guy if you'd like. Yeah. yeah for didn't he just use one? Yes, he has. He has a quill and ink. Okay. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> Not Fill it not, all out. No problem. Sure. Um, do you guys want to keep the whole stack, or do you just want to take one and go? Guys, I know I'm not there, whole but keep... Stack. keep the whole stack. Okay. You gotta keep the whole stack. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we should get some. Uh, just pass them out to people in the square and get a whole party <laughs> all, among us. Yeah. As long as we're en route towards my sister. Okay, I know this yes. is against what like will actually help us save people, but please do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> can we get so okay? You... So now we have a party of fifty-three, fifty-four, uh, walking through the gates of high society. Uh, so uh, well, let me ask you: you guys just want to hand them out, or do you want to sell them off? Uh, well, well, let's hold money. on to them. Just hold on to him. Okay, hold no, on that's on fine. Him. That's fine. You make money later. Could I make a perception oh. uh, within this square that we're currently in to anyone who might be able to uh, hold their own in a fight? Sure. Go ahead. Nope. Uh, there's 
no one really like necessarily distinguishable. Um, you do see that there's a couple of people that are carrying weapons, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you know they're adequate fighters. Um, okay, but that's that's kind of all you really see. I'm gonna walk up to one of them and say, "Okay, um, hello." He turns to you and he says, "Hello." Have you ever been in the high part of the city, the upper echelons? Never. Would you like to? He actually start, stops and thinks. He says, I don't know. Then you're probably not the right man for me. Hmm. That's fair. I wish you luck in your endeavors. Good to know you, good <laughs> sir. And I turn There's away back to the party. <laughs> and I, I almost like very each other at the exact same time. He turns his back to you as you turn your back to him. Well, that was bup kiss. <laughs> he then he attacks, then you actually feel like someone pat you on the shoulder, and he says, and you turn back if you, if yes. you want to face him. Yeah. And it's the same guy, and he says, Hello. Hello. He says, I might not be suitable. But this is my twin brother. He he's always wanted to see the island. What is your name, twin brother? He says, uh, my name's D. D. What a wonderful name, D. Can you hold your I own think... in a fight? I think so. Okay. Do you want to walk with us? Squawk with <laughs> us? See the sure. upper side of the city? Absolutely. Fantastic. Fantastic. Why don't you come with us, D? He says, can I bring my brother with me? Absolutely not. Oh, no, not him. My other brother. Oh, <laughs> yes, no, tell me about your other brother. What's his name? So he, he turns over and, and, you see this, and you just see this guy with, uh, sort of has like, you know, regular leather armor, again, mm -hmm. kind of similarly dressed. Um, except that he has very, very uh, light brown hair. Mm -hmm. Blue eyes, uh, clean shaven, fairly mm -hmm. young, and he says, "This is my brother, Da." Da. <laughs> D and Da. Where's and, your brother uh, Law? He says, "I don't have a brother Law." Okay. I do have a, a brother, a brother named Da, and da. he is a couple of markets over. <laughs> is he suitable for a fight? He might be, but unfortunately, he's watching our family stall. Mm. Beautiful. Stall. Da. Just... D. Da. Da. D. <laughs> D. A male. Da. Young man. <laughs> Are you ready? I want to know more about these people. Tell me about your life, Da. Can I knock him out? <laughs> Go ahead and roll. You're gonna Kyojin. separate the Call whole yourself party. Kyojin. <laughs> Oh my god. Go ahead, go ahead and roll Kyojin if that's what you want to do. You're killing oh, me. I don't want to hurt him. I don't want to hurt him. May I just grab him by his clothing and pull him away? <laughs> Give me a strength check. Jeez. Okay. I will. I'm ready to move. Yes! <laughs> go on, bless! I uh, hope I have these rolls when we actually do some action. Oh. Oh, yeah. give, me a, give me a counter strength check. Is that just a normal attack? Uh, it's it's just a uh, d20 plus ah! in proficiency. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that'll be that. Okay. So as as you as you tell him, like, please tell me more about your family. Kyojin starts to drag you. Your heels are like like being dragged in front of you, but you're just like still like arms crossed, like talking to this guy. <laughs> As he and his younger brother and the other brother proceed to follow you, explaining their family um, oh, yeah. as you guys end up making your way <laughs> off towards towards the bridge. Um, oh, hope like you had a lovely next? conversation. <laughs> okay, what's up next? I'd like to pull up my hood and then change my face and my voice to Sir Arthur's Caitlin. Okay. Um, as you do that, the three brothers talking with you, uh, Emil, mm -hmm. just immediately go, What the hell was that? And, like, all three at the same time pointing at her. 
Would you believe oh. it was a trick of your imagination? Uh, one of the, Da looks to his brother and he says, Is it a trick? Da looks to his brother and says, I think it's a trick. And then the third brother who has yet to introduce his name. There's three? Um, yeah, because uh, all three of them came along because they were explaining. I thought he was family. in the market all out of town. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's the fourth brother. Oh, we're kicking us all a couple oh markets. Oh, are these? Yeah. Are there seven brothers? That would be telling. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and but the third brother says, uh, "I think it's a trick." Let's just roll with it. I can I um. Okay. Don't believe your it. brother. No, that, that wasn't me telling you, Nix. That's the brother telling his other brothers. Believe me. It. We are a fight worth uh, worth fighting for. We are a cause worth fighting for. Yes, you are a fight worth fighting for, good sir. Thank you. I have no doubt. <laughs> Come with us. We shall grant you into the inner oh, no, city. They're, they're, they're still coming along. They're oh. just like, what, what happened? What was shoo, that? Shoo, 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 shoo. Man, now Mulan is running through my head. A cause worth um, fighting for. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Um, yeah. So uh, you guys end up making your way uh, towards the gate. Um, you can see it's this very, this grand uh, combination of bronze, silver, and golden uh, door that sort of blocks everything off. Um, you see about 10 guards are standing in attention in front of it. Mm -hmm. As you approach... Um, one of the guards immediately sees uh, you, Arthas Kalen, I should say Nix, and says, Ah, Lord Kalen, uh, what brings you to the island this day? You're on some regular business. Uh, he says, of, of course, I did not, I wasn't trying to question your your intentions. Uh, please open the gate. <laughs> um, the gate, uh, the the gate slowly but surely. You just hear this as the gate uh, proceeds to open, and uh, you guys are able to walk through. He says, uh, "A number of our lords and ladies uh, have been expecting you today. I hope, of course, that your meetings meet to your satisfactory, Lord Caitlin." Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day yourself. Thank you. The door, as the door opens, you guys walk through, and the gates close. Uh, you guys are now on the bridge. Um, from what you can see, it, this bridge crosses the river. Like, you can actually see, like, an open view of the river. Um, it's very wide, um, from, uh, encompassing, like, this, almost, it almost seems like two football fields worth. It's a very wide and, and large river. Um, as you guys continue to cross, you do notice that there's guards in similar garments um, stationed about, you know, every five feet or so. And you also notice that there's a number of traders making their way to and from uh, across the bridge. Uh, none of them necessarily pay any attention to you guys as, you know, they all seem wrapped up in their own affairs. Until um, finally you reach uh, the end where you see another gate of exact design with guards again exactly um dressed to the same and ag and again one of the guards sees you arthas and says ah lord kaelin we were expecting you please by all means he steps aside and the gate slowly but surely opens uh you sort of bow or you know salute whatever you want to do and you guys make your way inside uh here on the island, uh, the even just even just the street looks vastly different and so much better than the streets of the rest of Europa that you've been accustomed to. Um, the buildings are look to be kept much better. Um, it doesn't also necessarily seem as crowded. Um, there are far fewer people here. Um, there are far fewer people in the, populating the street even to the, uh, even now. And off um, towards the center. Um, you can see this grand castle that sort of uh, pokes up out of the ground in the center of this island. Um, very quiet, um, very much the opposite of the hustle and hustle, hustle and bustle uh, that you guys have been so used to um, being in the city of Europa versus the island. Um, 
you guys continue to walk until uh, actually a a well well to do um, sort of man uh, stops you and says, "Lord Kalen, thank you for coming. Uh, my uh, uh, Senator Senator Jonas has been looking forward to his meeting with you. He hopes that you'd be willing to meet him first." Sounds plausible. Would you be willing to come with me? Yes, I believe uh, my bodyguards and I shall accompany you. He he gestures to the <laughs> to the the f five <laughs> that are following you, and he says, "Are are they really necessary? I, this is a very protected part of town, and I I don't mean to be rude." <laughs> so, Kaylin, but they don't necessarily go with the aesthetic. You know, we Can go I do a, a, a persuasion check and try to persuade him? <laughs> intimidate him or intimidate him. Sorry, not persuade. Intimidate? Uh, if you want to intimidate him, sure. Uh, make what? an intimidation Intimid check. Yeah. 19. All right. Um, so you just dare him just like a death stare as he's like as he's like gently talking to you he eventually makes eye contact with you Kyojin and he's just like yeah uh aesthetic I'm I'm sorry please don't eat me <laughs> have no fear they will not hurt you they are here just to protect me they are necessary unfortunately of course <laughs> please if you and your and again he makes eye contact with you Kyojin your friend would be so kind as to f follow me. <laughs> of course. Um. Uh, and you guys can continue along uh, until eventually you guys come to a very nice and very simple house. Um, the outside you can see almost appears to be a tended garden of different flowers and shrubbery. Uh, very, again, much different from the just stone and dirt that you're so used to with Europa. Um, as he eventually takes you inside. Uh, he brings you all in, and he's like, please, just <laughs> wait wait here. Mas <laughs> Senator Giannis will be here in a second. Um, and he walks along and after a few uh and you guys kind of see that this house again for someone who's supposed to be so rich and so powerful it's a very quaint homey simple place um nothing really in elegance as to like there's a bunch of gold and silver every anywhere um but very a quite little a quaint and simple home uh you do see a sort of a family room off to the left um that of course the the guy who you know he's like gestures that you guys can all come and take a seat um, as he walks off. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to turn to Nyx and say, are you comfortable lying in, in succession over and over again to these people? Or do you need intervention? Potentially, we shall see have a few spells up my sleeve if absolutely necessary. I don't want you to betray your own spellcasting nature with these interactions. That is fair. Hopefully all things will go well and I can get as much information out of him. Kyojin, what's your sister's name? Nia. Yeah. Nia. Yeah. So I can find out some information about Nia before we absolutely have to leave. All right. As always, I am by your side, and I raise my shield and stand at attention. And I tell uh, D. Yes. Now is the best time to be the strong and silent type. He says, uh, "Of course, I have already told my brothers to, as they say, zip it." <laughs> also. Oh, okay. Tell me more about you. Where do, you. where do you come from? What's your life story? So they, so actually, the entire time that you were basically being dragged by Kyojin, they yeah. talked to you about like their entire family lineage, mm -hmm. all the history about their parents, the fact that they are there's actually uh, 
there's seven brothers in total, mm -hmm. but there's also seven sisters in this Whoa. family. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Um, they run a oh, very kill they run they run in total what is it a very small, um, but growing um market that they have taken to call linens and things. Oh, um, they sell, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> they sell a number of uh different wares um aside from like weapons that's kind of the one thing that they're like yeah you can go to the you know to your you know your local tower defense uh yeah. if you want to buy weapons no i'm, um, I'm having a similar <laughs> story <laughs> i am uh goading them on and uh yeah. <laughs> trying to get as much information as possible making them feel a welcome in this oh, ragtag they, group they probably felt bonded with you from like the moment that you first ta talked to their third brother who has said my name is dumb at this point mm -hmm. uh <laughs> can't believe i got uh, by a dragonborn and missed the cool brothers yeah um so yeah you you kind of know everything that at least as far as they can tell like about their about the family great um the brothers tend to run the marketplace like when like market is being established the sisters actually run the storefronts mm -hmm. um because they're they're very smart and manageable when it comes to money mm -hmm. uh and they're all named with the starting letter being d great <laughs> in some Lovely. iteration of that form <laughs> names are hard uh, i don't yeah, blame your they parents can. they said Oh, we don't we don't blame them either but uh there are 14 kids yeah you are named dumb which is kind of a kind of a mark i will say but um that's okay <laughs> all types all strokes for different folks am i right i hope Absolutely. you don't mind i have to use the restroom and since i'm not with the team go ahead sure, that's yeah go ahead um so uh as you guys continue to converse after a couple of minutes, you guys uh, see this older gentleman. Um, actually, from what you can tell, he appears to be an orc uh, with a long, plushy beard, um, shaved head, but dressed in elegant garb and robes. Um, comes into the room. He uh, bows and introduces himself. He says, my, my name is uh, uh, like a my assistant hopefully told you my name is Lord Jonas. Uh, office, uh, Lord Kalen, I appreciate you coming to my personal Thanks. home uh, on such short notice. Hmm. Um, he takes Not a seat and he, sort of, and he sort of whisks away his assistant and he says, the girl that you had uh, given me uh, these some odd weeks ago um, has fallen ill. Granted, she has stood up to our bargain. Uh, she plays her lyre very well. Um, but unfortunately, I'm not sure if she is allergic to something that might be going on, but in the uh, past couple of days, she has started to fall ill. High fever, um, constant sweat, a bit of a cold sweat even, I might say. And uh, I've even noticed possibly past scarring. Um, I can't. I, I can only assume it's scars. Uh, but they are starting to turn a rather repulsive shade of green. Interesting. I was not trying to say you sold me damaged goods, but. I do have to ask, considering the amount I paid for a girl who is responsible for, large in part, my entertainment for when I have guests up, if you did, in fact, tell them that course. I am holding back my rage in my heart. Well, Arthas, Kaelin, tell us about your sold goods. <laughs> I telepathically use my awakened mind, and I tell Hyojin... Do not react. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, um, <laughs> and, um, I say, what's his name again above board? Lord Jonas? Lord Jonas. Oh, Lord Jonas. It was Lord never Jonas. my, it, well, Jonas, it was never my intention 
we do not sell damaged goods, but I would, um, I would like to see her and see if I can find a remedy or cure for her as soon as I'm afraid. I'm afraid seeing her in person is out of the question. If she is sick, I worry that this could possibly spread. The Again, the only reason I had you come on such short notice is because I wanted to know if you sold me a sick child or if this is something that she caught after the fact. Because, once again, 2,500 gold for a child such as this is a lot of coins for entertainment. And for the... If I'm... I apologize for being so blunt. But if the cow has soured after only a few days worth... I'd hate what this could possibly do to our relationship. Of course. No, she was in perfectly good health when she was given to you. So she must have gotten sick here in the city. Unfortunately, I have heard reports that there is an illness going around and that I should not be sharing this with you. Potentially, the water has been contaminated, so she must have drank in some. She has now fallen ill from that illness. Examples you are explaining of her symptoms are similar to what the other people who have gotten sick have complained about. Hey. Um... Well then, if if you'll excuse me, I I think I have some things I need to attend to. Please. Uh, and he stands up and, and kind of like like extends a hand as a handshake. Um, but he says, if if you'll permit me. Before you go, in order to stop the sickness at the source, I would at least like to know where she is held in captivity. I mean, she's being kept here in the house. Uh... Why? Why are you so interested? I mean, of of course. Like, uh, I'm not le- allowing her to go outside. I wouldn't risk her touching someone and possibly spreading, you know, such a contagion. Mm-hmm. It's the worry. Well, rest rest assured, uh, she is being tended to, uh, with and being kept with all my attention. Of course. Is there a doctor with her? Sorry to speak out. He so he looks at you and then kind of looks it back to you, Arthas, and he says, "I ha- not that it's any of your concern, sir, but we have had a doctor visit her a couple of times over the past few days." I apologize for my men speaking out. They are a caring lot, which is why I keep them around. They are loyal to me. I see. Thank you very much for welcoming us into your home, and I hope whatever you need to do, you go and do quickly and whatever you need. Well, take care. Have a great day. (laughs) I say to Dom... Or Da? Which one is standing next to me? There's D, Duh, and Dom. Uh, Dumb. D, Duh, and Dumb. Mm-hmm. And I say, by the way, don't drink the water. It's, well, it's bad. It's all bad. Well, it's the very three bad. Of them rea- then the three of them like quietly react like, well, apparently, if pa- apparently there's a contagion running around the city. Like, what are we supposed to do? What about the other brothers? What about mom and dad? They just be like me, be like me, be like me. Hey, hey, send yourself, send everyone a message. <laughs> boil the water. I don't know why this isn't common practice right now. Just boil it. Tell you why it's not common practice, because no one's ever had to deal with it. Again, they just start rambling off like an anxious gym. Calm yourself, please. Calm yourself. Just they, boil it. It's hot. It's uh, make a fire and put it over the top of it. I don't know what's so the, hard. The three of um, dumb says, "Send to yourselves, boys," and the three of them just go. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, dumb. I can always trust you, dumb. Um, yes, you can. Don't just leave. He's gone, right? No. If anything, he's kind of like pushing you guys to leave because it's his house. <laughs> oh, okay. Can I make a perception check of 
where I could assume my sister's being held captive. You can make a perception check. <laughs> well, this is all happening. Can I search the gentleman that Nix is, is posing as? See if I can find him. You want to search for Arthas? Yeah, since they went posed as him, I want to make sure that he doesn't end up going to the castle and screwing them up. So even though I'm um, mad at, at the Dragonborn, I want to cover their their tail, basically. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know as DM that when it comes to the three rings, unless they find you, you don't find them. But I could stand s sort of close to the uh, to the um, the bridge area where the guards are and see if he shows up, and then I if, could if, grab him in case if, and just let him know what's happening. I, I get it. I got it. If that's where you'd like to stand, you can you can stand guard them. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, 14. Uh, Esteban, uh, all I can really say is just uh, what you see of the house is more or less the same as how I described it. Looks like a small, comfy, quaint, homey house. I can't see any other entrances kind of thing, like another way in that could be incognito. If I'll, Not from I'll where you guys in. are in the living room. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Is the man still here with me? Yes, he's kind of, he's like urgently trying to get you guys out of his house because he has things to do. Can I... Can I offer... I have a, I have a, a soft heart for children. May I give the girl this liar I carry with me while her illness is here? Make a persuasion check. No, it's gonna hurt my heart. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where's... Oh. So... Can Alicia make a persuasion check? <laughs> yes. I can't. So she do that. knows him. So, well, no, hang on. So, uh, he looks up at you. He says, "I'm sorry. I'm not going to let." You see an infected girl. I, I understand your your heart aches for children, but if she's sick, I can't risk someone else getting infected. Uh, uh I'm immune. Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> That's clever. That's clever. Ah! Hey, look at that. That's really clever. Mwah. Mwah. Nice one. Kind of looks you up and down. And he says, It's because you're a dragon. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I nod my head and say, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. But only <laughs> the dragonborn will be allowed to see the child. Okay. Put it back in your tears. So he, uh, he says like the rest of you can follow. You just won't be able to go into the room. Uh, but right. he says, if you'll follow me, please. Um, so he takes you uh, out of the living room and you guys head off towards the kitchen uh, where you see like there's a door that leads into his you know like his backyard kind of thing but off to the right of that you see there's another door that he opens and appears to be you know what would lead down into a basement um, he leads you down there and you guys see uh, chained up up against the wall on the opposite side of the room is uh, actually Uh, is your sister. That's the point. Um, so he he stops the rest of you from, you know, from walking, and he says, Master Dragonborn, what is what is your name? Uh, over the board. Should I give him my real name? I'm nervous. It's up to you. Okay. Um... 
My name is Elred. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Keep going down that road as well. Uh, he says, well, Lord El uh, Sir Elred, um, if you'd like, you may see the girl. Thank you. Uh, alone? Uh, he, uh, he says, is there a reason you must be alone? Uh, no, no, uh, just wondering, are you going to be okay? I am a dragonborn and I'm immune, but other creatures are not. He says, that is sound logic. <laughs> would risk limited exposure. Mm hmm. Indeed. Fine. We'll leave you alone. But if you harm her in any way, I'll have you executed. Of course, I understand. Of course, of course. Uh, he comes back to the to you guys. We're kind of like waiting on the stairs, and he says, "Let us leave." The Dragonborn asks for some quality time with the child. Of course. Okay. And, and, and now I'm here alone? Yes. So, uh... Does she I, see me yet? Am I like around so the she corner? Does. She does. Okay. So she sees you guys, she sees you come in, and what light she has in her eyes uh, immediately lights up. Um, and she's like, oh, big, big brother, Shh, sister. They do not know who I am through you. They do not know our relationship. I promise, sister. I'm going to get out to get you out of here. I just need need some time. Okay. She says. She says. What? What happened to mother and father? Sister, I don't want you to think of those things. I will get She's you like, out of here and we'll take I'll take you back to our farm and we'll rebuild our farm. Rebuild the farm? But if the farm's been destroyed, what happened to mother and father? Oh sister. It is just you and I here. And she kind of just like lifelessly like collapses against the wall um you can even see like her skin starting to almost be see-through and, and become very pale uh definitely definitely the description that the the no the nobleman again before like you've seen some of her past scars like they've turned a very uh, at this point they're very dark green um, and i know that this stuff is not airborne like around because we fought these people before yeah yeah you would you would know this is an airborne um or at least as far know, as... you're making me cry like that <laughs> that was that was um, actually very hang on. we're not we're not done here um so uh she she says i don't know if i have the strength to rebuild a farm sister i'm going to get you out of here right now i told them that you are a child that i wanted to give a liar to. I brought your liar here. And you see her light up again. She's like, you brought my liar? I've carried it. And then I start playing a tune that she used to play. Give me a performance check. Oh, God, <laughs> man. You guys are making me cry, man. This is hard. Okay, okay. Did I press it? Okay, that's not bad. 14. Okay. So you, you, you pluck along fairly well. And she, she kind of like pull, pulls out her frail arms as best she can, and she says, "Give it here." I say it's yours, but I want you to hold it until I come back. So she she takes it first, and she's like, first, you never could play this song right." And she starts to pluck away and perfectly plays the song that you were you were trying to play, and she says, "You, you're always thinking too fast." And she, she, as she holds it, she's actually, she looks back to you and she says, As much as I want to, I'm not allowed personal things. 
if Lord, if the Lord sees me with this, he'll take it away. And she kind of like, again, with her fragile arms, like tries to hold it up. And she says, can you watch it for me till we get out of here? I'll watch it for me if you promise me one thing, sister. What's that, brother? I want you to hold on until I get you out of here. Uh, and she, so you can tell, like, she's actually starting to falter because the lie is so heavy for her. Um, but she says, I'll try, brother. I'll try. From now on, sister, do not drink the water. I need you to ask them a special request. Milk, or even to boil the water. I can ask for milk. I love you, little sister. I will get you out of here, I promise. I love you too, Kyojin. Dude, that's heartbreaking. I almost feel bad for you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um so. You take the take the liar back. Um, the rest of you guys are just, you know, standing up there, just, you know, patiently waiting. Uh, Kyojin, what do you do? I want to ask one more thing. I want to okay. ask her, what is the routine? When are you most kept unguarded? She tells you, she basically goes on to tell you that she can't really speak to the routine of the house as of now because ever since she got sick, She's been locked down here in the basement and chained to the wall. Um, very carefully, she's given a very small meal, essentially once a day. But aside from that, like she doesn't, and that and that's done by like one of the other maids. Um, but other than that, like she's like, I don't see anybody because no one's allowed to see me. And then can I make a persuade uh, uh, perception check to look around if there's any like small like windows or bars or any entrances or exits that I can see in this basement? Anything at all? Can I look Unfortunately, around? the only thing you can really see is if you look up on one of the floorboards, there's a small hole that allows for some daylight to bleed through, which to your mind would mean it's light coming from the ground floor of the house. But other than that, there there isn't. There's not like a window or an opening down here. It's all closed off. Okay. Above board, can I give Esteban a question? I think he would ask. Uh. I I I, I understand. Normally, you don't do that. But I, I, I'm I'm gonna say common no. Common sense. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. gonna say no. Okay, no problem. Okay. I have a rations bag. With mm -hmm. me. May I give her one yeah, yeah. item of food or something like that extra than she usually does? Sure. All right. I shall How do you that. want to give it to her? Um, here. Hide this inside of that crappy liar they gave you. And uh, do you want to toss it to her? Do you want to risk touching her? How do you? That's what I'm saying. How do you want to give it to her? I'm going to leave it at... Is she, like, barred away, kind of? No, no. So the idea is that it, she's in an open room, but she's chained to the wall. She can only come out so far. Mm -hmm. Um, So, like, at this point, she's probably, like, five feet. Like, she's, like, in... She's right in front of me. Um, but I'm just saying because, from what you can see, she does appear to be infected. Um, How do you want to go about giving her that food? Well, she already touched the liar and gave it back. I feel like at this point, oops. Right? So do you want to touch her? I will place the food on the liar and extend it out so she can grab it. Okay. She picks it up. Um, and she actually quickly, quickly scarfs it down. Because uh, from what you can tell, she's probably mal mal malnourished. Um... So what do you want to do now? I'll be back with you, sister. He says, oh, okay, brother. And when I come back, I will play that song for you perfectly and not too thinking too much or whatever. She, you, whatever. she holds up a frail hand and she says, I'll hold you to it. 
<laughs> Goodbye, sister. <laughs> um, I guess you then head back up the stairs. Um, the re so the rest of you guys, Jonas has been waiting patiently with you two and and the the three D brothers. Um, uh, just for your sake, um, Ari, from what you can tell, there has not been any sighting of uh of Arthas. So. In that case, I might go find a potion shop to help him. Okay. Um, so, uh, Kyojin's made his way back up from the basement level to you guys. Um, what do you want to do? This whole time, I've been getting more and more lore from the D brothers. Oh yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. At, at this point, they've they've honestly told you everything there is to possibly know mm -hmm. that they know about their family. I have a like, whole between... timeline. Yeah, um, <laughs> like the lineage, again, just at least as far as what, what the, they Le know. the yeah. Leviticus of um, uh, house rules and uh, practices from their families. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um... Uh, so yeah, then Kyojin, you've made you made your way back up to the rest of the group. So that's why I'm like, so what do you guys do now? I ask, does she have the same affliction as the people from the other towns that we've been notified of? Don't. Interesting. Don't know how long she has before she fully. Well, for Jonas, or um, I think it would be pertinent that we. Take her and keep her secluded, and potentially, with my contacts, I could have her cured. Make her secluded? She's already secluded. You take her out now, you risk someone possibly becoming infected. But we know of someone who has been infected before, and they're in great condition and being taken very well taken care of. Persuasion check. Is it? Isn't that true? Like, uh, it doesn't matter. It's true. Now. Well, but be, but what you're but what you're saying here, uh, because what she's saying is that they can they have someone that they 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 can cure, and so because this is a new disease, he doesn't necessarily know about. That's why he's looking for some. Could I help with that persuasion? Sure. I'm gonna also use one of my inspiration. Okay. By the way, Jeremy, while they're doing this, can I spend an inspiration myself to find a really good push Because I have some problems that will help. That is 11. Um, and if need be, I can also add another d4 with my pack of the talisman. You can if you'd like. Oh. It's a 12 then. Okay. Um, hmm. As far as your uh, potion shop uh, question, Ari, uh, you would know that there's uh, that there is a, a shop called Lennons and Things that they sell stuff like that that you'd be able to head to. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna go there. Um, I'm gonna let the guards in front of the gate know that my friend, uh, um, who she's dressed up as, and two others might be looking for me, and if they come back through, they should let them know that's what. And also to remind them that I have the map. The guards, honestly, the guards just doesn't pay attention to you. Like he, he's 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 hearing you like you talk, um, but he's treating you as if like you're just some poor homeless person. He's just like, yeah, I got friends in there, you know. Give him some gold. He still does not react. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I just said, oh, forget you then, and then I <laughs> my motion drop. Um, so back to you guys. Uh, he. He says, I am not willing to risk this child infecting the rest of the people on this island. I would like to... I'm so sorry, I will do that. I would, I would like to cast Suggestion on him. And okay. recommend that he does give us a um, child, that way we can and get her taken care of. Okay. And, uh, what is your wisdom? Um, my wisdom is a ten. 
Or no, I'm sorry, your your uh, your spell save DC. That's it. Oh, my spell save DC. Um. Two, ten, plus five, so fifteen. Okay. Uh, so once again, he actually says, I understand what you want to do. I am not willing to risk this island for one child. Now, please, I have responded to your requests. I have given you what you wanted. I ask you that you please leave, or I would hate to, but I will call the local guard. Of course. We will be on our way. Okay. The ocean, what do you do? <laughs> My eyes have so much hatred, but I walk away with my... As we plan for our extraction escape plan in the future. <laughs> okay. Uh, Emil, what do you want to do? Uh, having had a long and fulfilling uh, conversation <laughs> with the D brothers, <laughs> I dismiss them. Um, well done. <laughs> and let them uh, continue along their own personal journey with their long adventure path that they're taking. Sure. And I, uh, I wait instruction. Uh, so one of them, one of them says, if you ever need any help, um, anyone in our side of town will know. Simply ask for the Brothers of D, and <sighs> we'll be happy to assist you. I will be happy to ask for a strong D anytime. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Um, so you guys exit the house. Um... What do you do next? What time is it above uh, board? Uh, above board, uh, it would probably be about 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay. What, right. what's, what is, We're walking, are we walking and talking currently? Uh, at this point, you guys have exited uh, the house. We need to find Grotek. We need him to find a way to heal my sister before it's too late. Um, I could come in the dead of night and try and... Okay. The only issue is she's in underground. I can lockpick very well, but getting into the house stealthily, quietly, does not seem like something that our group is very well known for. Well, what if you, you, you saw the guards? What if you turn into one of the guard? What if we find that guard in their personal life, knock him out, time him, and you go as that guard? Really quick. Really quick. Um, Ari, you end up going to the uh, potion shop. Mm. And uh, you were selling potions? Is that what you wanted? To no, do? I want to buy some potions, and I want to ask some. Okay. Um, as oh. you as you make your way to um, a nearby linens and things, uh, you are actually stopped by about four guards, uh, one of whom says, "You'll need to come with us." Any particular reason? Uh, excuse me. Any particular reason? The guard says, We would rather not say, as we don't want to start a panic, but you will need to come with us. That's no problem, but I do have to make a stop at Linen's and things. Will your you friend, escort me there? Your friend Trevathan said you would understand. Let's go, immediately. Take me. So, they actually hold you, like, spears out at point. None of them are trying to touch you. And very carefully, they take you back towards the gate, and they take you inside. Um, as you guys continue to uh, <coughs> talk outside the house, um, about a dozen or so guards come up to the house. And uh, one of the guards steps out and says, Soth is Caleb. Yes. Uh, 
Yes. As much as we don't wish to bother you on your place of business, we will need to take you and your friends into custody. And why is that? I don't know if you know him, but with these two, so the Trevathan said they would understand. Interesting. Well, if Trevathan says so, then I guess we shall come along. Cool. Um, carefully, they like all like extend spears and kind of like give you like a. It's like a like you guys are on the inside the guards surrounding you are about five feet ten feet away from you they're all making sure not to uh touch you guys or be too close as you guys make your way um as they wait and eventually uh you guys notice elwood actually rejoins your group as they sort of push him into your little blob and the rest of you start to make your way down the street toward the castle ah then, nice to see you and that is where we're going to end the session. Um, really quick, uh, for everybody who's watching, thank you so much uh, for tuning in for this episode of The Adventure Continues. We really appreciate it. We hope you guys are having as much fun watching this as we are. Um, if you guys would like to follow along and keep up to date, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, or even Twitter. All of those links are here on our Twitch page. Um, we are posting videos every two weeks for new episodes, um, as well as one shots like our good man Paul here did a couple of weeks ago with oh, some of so our fun. players here. It really was. It, it was really good. Um, but uh, yes, please join us next time for the next episode as the adventures continue. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.